Skyline Nation, my mom and woman is versus food, and I always clean my plate because wasting food is rude. This is going out to my eldest daughter. Yo, she's over there. And she was like, Mom, it's like you should make like a Franken soup. I'm like, what? A Franken soup? And she's like, yeah, take a bunch of all the soups in the cupboard and like combine them all together. I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, all right, I guess I can do that. So I've got about 18 pounds of soup. I've got varieties from Santa Fe. I've got savory pot roast. I've got chicken enchilada, chicken noodle, uh, roasted red pepper, a ton of the Santa Fe actually, because I bought it on sale because whatever. But it's slightly salted, so it's kind of gross. I had to dump a bunch of salt in it before I ate it. Who knew? Also, chicken and dumplings, corn chowder, lasagna, creamy tomato penne, New England clam chowder, and more of that lovely saltless soup. Mm, sounds delicious. I've got a massive pot right here, and we're just gonna dump it all. You hear the plop? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You can do this little plopping thing going on. And we're just gonna really combine all the soups. <laughs> It's like, yeah. mm. <laughs> this doesn't really look like that good. So I just, it's like, I don't even know I can fit all this in here. <laughs> you got like the pop, pop noise. Always grateful for those easy ones. You know. I'd say out of all of these, it says chunky. It's pretty chunky. It's a, that was when it came out. It came out in a full can. I'm like, what are you? Most of these are really coming out, you know. And I was like, well, and someone. The, the theory was if you do a bunch of the condensed, the condensed soup, it'll be less and you can have more variety. So I'm like, well, you have to technically, add, if you want to make a soup, you got to add the liquid. So it really all of a sudden becomes twice as big. Well, and it's also extremely small. Sniffing. This tomato here. Sniff is gonna eat the soup. I will allow it. This, is, this looks really gross, dude. <laughs> and the pot is getting kind of full. As you can see in the video, you can it's, it's starting to get up there. Um, okay, so this is 18, about 18 plus pounds. The cans are 18 and a half ounces a piece. Um, and we're gonna... Lasagna. Honestly, that actually really sounds good, but not mixed with anything else. Uh, all right. So I've got this extremely large pot of soup here. There's like 18 and a half pounds of soup. And I'm just like, oh. So I'm gonna let Sniff lick the can tops. And I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna eat this because I don't feel like a spoon would really do it justice. I'm not even gonna heat it up. I'm going to eat this cold because I just feel it would honestly be a little bit better. So here's two. Molly Skyler versus Franken soup. All right, guys. I decided the best course of action was to get a coffee cup and scoop it out. And I'm just gonna drink the soup. It's Room temperature cold-ish. My home is a glorious 67 degrees. No, 
not awesome. But I do have a lot of this delicious soup that would be better at a warmer temperature. I just kind of figured that if I drink it hot that it would just be meh. But I also know that drinking it cold is also going to be meh. <laughs> so I don't really know how long it's going to take. I uh, I have a towel on my lap, but I have a feeling this is going to be a little drippy, which is fine. I understand that. Um, but I guess if you have all these cans of soup, and uh, I think the only one I really don't want to drink out of here is probably going to be the clam chowder. I'm not really good with clam chowder. It doesn't sound delicious. It, it is what it is. Um, but mostly soups are actually pretty good, minus that and maybe the Santa Fe because it just needs more salt. Um, I do have a spoon in case I need to scrape some stuff out of here. As you can see, this is a very large stock pot, well over two gallons. Um, I'm just hoping I can finish this. I just, ugh. guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out. Um, might as well time this, I guess. Um, Roman woman versus food. Let's see if I can clean my plate. Would you rude just by looking at it. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Oh God. I just want to make a map. Look at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plop. If I'm eating over it. No, it's not. This is really cold. If I, once I get it in the pot, it won't be so bad. I just don't want to swap it over. Shut up. I think that sound is off. Yeah. <laughs> this was her idea. That sounded gross. It's everywhere. It's on my nose. Boop. Boop. Oh God. Well, it's that one can of soup that was a chunk. It's still in the chunk. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, in all honesty. Like I said, it's... I mean, half of it was Yeah, it was. Actually, yeah, there's no salt in it.
how bad I thought it was going to be. of delicious soup. Now, there, um, yeah, a lot of the time of that unfortunately was I was trying not to slop it up. Um, it wasn't the worst case scenario of all challenges that we've done. I still do like that. They actually go pretty quick. But, you know, Combining all the soups actually it tasted pretty good. I didn't taste the clam chowder at all, which was awesome. Um, and it actually made the Santa Fe soup, which tastes like crud, better. So all in all, it was an absolute winner, and I cleaned out my cupboard. So thank you to my eldest daughter, Jaden, because that was a great idea. Made a Franken soup, and uh, yeah, excellent. If y'all have any ideas, send them my way if you'd like to sponsor something. Uh, heck, contact me in the description below how to get to me. Uh, like and subscribe. Let's, uh, let's keep this up. I love this frequency. Frequency. I like that freaking pie I made the other day. That was awesome. 12 and a half pounds of pie. Thank you. We'll catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching, guys. And back with another amazing food or breaking something. <laughs>